you, Jesus. Thank you, he's awakening. Faith in all situations. Faith in all situations. In all homes. Hallelujah. So we are here on this portion. And we have two dynamite young ladies coming um, to eat this evening. And first is a beautiful young lady. She is a missionary here in this church, St. Stephen's. All right. She just stepped right in and found wonderful things for her hands to do. She's on our uh, nurses unit and, and everywhere else I see her, a um, greeter and everything. And I just love her, the pieces, anything I ask her to do, she says yes. And I can um, just talk to her, you know, we talk to somebody we're going through something and we should we grab in, we're going to the corner and just pray. Because God has blessed us with the connection and yes. God for her. So she's going to come first. And this young lady is missionary. Came to the clock. Followed by. Yes. yes. Followed by. And yes. that's order. The star missionary, Jordan Mitchell. All right. I take she lives a lot. She cares about. And um, we're talking about a young lady to man before the Lord. Hallelujah. And she encourages me. Because um because she's because she loves the Lord and I just thank God for that. So they will come in that order, missionary clock, missionary. Bless the Lord. And we're gonna round it up with Elder Roger Rose. He's gonna go five hours. So we're gonna have our time in the next 30, 35 minutes, and we're gonna be out. All right. And then he took his men and traveled all night before they came up to the 
Amorites in the morning. And the Lord fought with them. He helped them even sink great hailstones down upon the men. And it's written that more were killed by the hailstones than Joshua's men. Mm. And even in Revelation, it talks about when God's going to send the hailstones down. And they're going to be like 90 pounds. And the Amorites began to flee, and Joshua and his men followed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's in the early evenings, and those who were strategic and they knew military um, planning, you look at the time when you're going to attack and how this is going to go through. You see two or three moves beforehand. And so he can see right now that he doesn't have enough daylight left before he completely destroys the enemy. So this is when he calls out to the sun. Because he knows if he lets any of them escape now, they're going to come back and he's going to have to be in the same fight again. So he says, to the, um, he speaks out with divine confidence. Mm -hmm. And he requests this astonishing miracle. He cried out to the sun in front of the Israelites. He told them to stand still, even the moon to stand still, because he yeah. needed the daylight covering to complete yeah. his mission. And so the Lord granted him his request. Hallelujah. And he then offered his faith <coughs> in being a faithful servant. Yeah. So in spiritual battles, we have a great assurance. Yeah. Jesus is already assured our victory. Uh -huh. The word of God reminds us that we already are victorious. Hallelujah. And yeah. we have miracles. Yes. And sometimes it seems like it's too hard, too big to ask for. We seem like our wants may be too big for mm -hmm. me to ask for. But I tell you tonight, ask the Lord to increase yes. my faith. Yes. 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 Before he went to the battle, he was already assured. Today, doing your battle. God is telling you, fear not. Uh -huh. God already told Joshua, don't fear me. I'm going to make them bow yes. down to you. They won't be able to stand up before yeah. you. And surely he's the same God today, yes, they have Oh, yes, he is. He is going to take care of us. Uh -huh. yes, Psalm 18 and 29 has been running through me. For by thee I have run through a tree, and by my God I have leaped thee over a wall. Yes. God wants to assure us that his power is greater yes. than any problem yes. that we may yes. face. Oh, the Lord told Joshua, fear not, that he would deliver them from the king's hands. Mm -hmm. And so it was five kingdoms. And even though he wasn't supposed to hook up with them in the first place, <laughs> he was going to have to fight them individually when he went to, to battle with them because it was not God. Mm -hmm. But God worked it out. He put them all together so he can wipe them out in one battle. Yes. Sometimes yes. it looks like the devil is setting you up for a failure. Eat the 
and giving and doing different things, but we don't know their background. We don't know they might not be given out of their abundance, uh -huh. but they're being obedient to the word of God. Uh -huh. And that is what he is asking us to do. Once again, Psalms 18 and 29. For by thee I have run through a tree, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. Tonight, saints, I just want to remind you, God told you what to do. Now all we got to do is leap to our victory.
Yes, 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 yes. My faith is just right for you. My will is just right for you. 